Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangus and I welcome you guys to part 33 of Let's Play Fire Emblem for the Substitute Run. It is time for the final Holy War. At long last, the Liberation Army neared the final stage of their journey. The army's presence continued to instill courage in those still suffering under the Empire's rule, and civilians all over Jugdral rose in revolts. Silesia was the first to return to the people's control. Shortly thereafter, the wave spread to Augustria, spurring the masses to rise and take up arms. However, the momentum had yet to penetrate Granbel. The Grauen Ritter Axe Brigade, under the command of Burian of Dosel, and the Beige Ritter Archer Brigade, under the command of Scorpio of Jungbai, and the Gelben Ritter Thunder Brigade, under the command of Queen Hilda of Frege, were all in top form. Ishtar and the Sinister Prince Julius, along with the twelve enigmatic Dark Warlords, remained eerily silent at Barhara. Over a year had passed since the Liberation Army's initial uprising in Isaac. The ongoing conflict tragically split the Twelve Crusaders between light and dark, as it pitted fellow descendants against one another. And thus commenced the final Holy War. Velthomer. My father's dead, is he? He was of no use to us anymore. The rebel army did us a favor by removing him. Poor father, you used him for all his worth and left him out there to perish. It was all for your own good, your highness. Alvis may have been of Loptium blood, but he clearly opposed the revival of the old regime. Crusader's father's ways ran too deep with him. He would have turned on us eventually. I know, so it seems the rebel army reached Chalfi. Should that concern me? I have already given orders to Bishop Roden and Burian of Dosel to retake Chalfi. Rest assured, there is no cause for alarm. I see. Manfroy, I want to see Julia. Where is she being kept? She's in the dungeon. One moment. Guards, fetch us the Imperial Princess. Now! Greetings, Julia. Do you remember who I am? Julius. Ha! Your memory is still intact, and to think it's been seven years. Yeah, I remember it all now, as if it were yesterday. Ha <laughs> ha! I suppose you've some fond memories of your mother as well. Just, who are you? Everything changed the day Archbishop Manfroy brought that eerie black book in. That day also marks the last I saw of my dear brother. All that remained in his place was this powerful yet demonic child. You, whoever you are, have deprived me of my mother and my brother, as well. Who are you? Why must you put me through this agony? I am the inheritor of the power of the Lopt clan. This world is my domain. And Julia, you inherit the power of my mortal enemy, Naga. Therefore, you must die. Your Highness, wait. I still have a use for the girl. Allow me to finish her off later. Hmm, better be interesting, Manfroy. Alright, she's with you. I'm withdrawing to the capital. Mistake! But be forewarned, one slip up on your part could have far reaching consequences. Thanks, Manfroy. You kind of sealed, uh, sealed the Emperor's fate right there. Edda! Oh my god, the fucking Wall of Edda, guys. The fucking Wall of Edda. I have orders from His Imperial Highness, priests and mercenaries, no one gets past you, understood? And as for the Night Brigade, it's your job to get Chalfi back. Yeah, the fucking Wall of Edda is, uh... Ugh. Ugh. The Wall of fucking Edda, guys. Chalfi! The final Holy War is just about underway, Salise. Holy War? So this is it, huh? Yeah, Julius turned out to be a descendant of the Lopt clan. He has been plotting to restore the Dark Empire from day one. We've got to stop him, no matter what. Levin, how do you always seem to know everything? Please, you gotta let me know what else is going on here. 
Salise, I apologize if I kept some things from you in the past. In all my years of travel in search of the truth, I finally stumbled upon something big. What is it? Legend has it that Bishop Gal crossed the sea in his youth and traveled the world there before founding the Lopped Empire. He was determined to drink the lifeblood of a legendary creature of the time. One sip promised powers of unimaginable proportions. You don't mean the blood of the ancient dragon tribe? That's all superstition, right? Yeah, but when Gal returned from his travels, he possessed unexplainable powers. He used his new powers to influence the young to his own devices. Before long, he had built up a demonic legion of warriors that followed, it, followed his every whim. So where does Lord Lopatosa fit into all of this? He was most likely of the dragon tribe. Their, flow, their blood flows in all of Gal's descendants, making the Lopt clan's evil power and the dragon tribe's power one and the same. Then what of our ancestors, the Crusaders? How did they come to be? Well, the legend goes that the gods descended upon the twelve warriors of the Liberation Army. It all took place at Darna Fortress, but, um... But what? What happened? Celise, let's save this one for next time. We got an enemy to confront. Alright. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I love this, uh... I love this music. Alright, so this is the fucking Wall of Eddar right here. The guy, the Swordmaster, Bwiza! He actually has Sun Sword. This guy's scary. This guy can easily fuck you over. Um... This guy isn't that bad, but he does have a sleep stuff. However, let's count the status staves, guys. Sleep. Sleep. Storm. Meteor. <laughs> Storm. Meteor. Sleep. <laughs> Serve. Sleep. Serve. Oh my god. Sleep. Reserve. Meteor. Storm. Meteor. Storm. Sleep. Sleep. Okay, what is that like? Six or seven or eight sleep staves? Yeah, sounds, sounds about right. So, yeah, that's the problem. And there's this guy with the Fenrir, so... These guys will come at us as well. Robert, this guy can easily fuck you over. He has pursuit and charge, so don't fuck with him. Anyway, uh, before we do anything of that, we gotta deal with these guys. But, I assume you guys wanna see some arena -ing. It's been a while. Might as well do the arena gauntlet with Celise, even though he's kind of max level. Yeah, what's the point really in doing the arena gauntlet when you're max level? Let's um, let's do it with Rotoban maybe. Yeah, Rotoban can do it. If I remember correctly, there's there's nothing to buy here. We I mean, could buy a cutter, but I don't see the points. Just sleep stuff though that I didn't purchase the last time. All right. All right. No, no, wait. Um, I think I equipped my fire sword. I want to keep this fire, this this silver sword, because this thing has crit on it. All right, so the first opponent is Dulls. He is very dull. <laughs> well, a great shield is fun. Boom! Take that. Oh wait a minute! Before we go any further, uh, I'm just gonna have to check the money supply of uh, Rodelban. As well as Radney, how much gold do they have? Because Leaf has a um, Leaf has a, an elite ring that he doesn't need anymore. Is anyone capable of benefiting from that? Maybe like Johan. He has four more levels to gain. Well, ten. I'm not using her. Hmm, maybe Ahmed. Well, it costs 40 k, so it's gonna have to go to someone with a lot of cash. Uh, anyone capable of getting the elite ring? Oifi, maybe? I don't know. Hannibal, no. <laughs> Dimna is close to capping out anyway. Nah, it doesn't look like anyone can afford the elite ring, so let's just continue the arena gauntlet. So, our next opponent is Kaimus the Forest with the steel sword. Shouldn't be too hard. I do think. Oh! Bang! Bang! Rodelban. He's kind of getting carried by a silver sword, but fuck it. Maybe if he gets 40k from this gauntlet. Oh no, Sen Senon, Swordmaster with the silver sword. This could actually be kind of tough. Okay, he's faster than us. So. Uh, uh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Fuck. Well, that didn't go well. Eh. Well, I'm pretty sure he could have beaten him. 
But alright, well, that was a fail. So let's send Radney into the arena instead, see how she does. Rodelban sadly lacks a little bit of speed. The sister is a lot better. The hero sword is a lot better too. It just has. It has. Like, the hero sword is an absolute steroids in this game. It has fucking 100% hit. It weighs 3. It has a ridiculous amount of mind on it, and it doubles your attacks. I. Whoever designed the hero sword in this game, I don't know what they were thinking, but it's just fucking insane. Pretty sure Radney will be able to beat the entire gomp that she usually does. It's too bad about Rotoban, though. But I can use Charlo to just do an AoE heal in the entire castle. Should be enough to um, give him another go. Bang. Bang. Ugh. No! Okay, there we go. She did it. Fucking hell, this guy's scary. Alright, so who's the next guy? It's a, it's Torton, the great knight with a hero axe and a shield ring. Well, this is gonna be fucking easy. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna be able to do shit to me, my friend. Bang! Hit points, strength. Nice, so now she's level 25. Who's the next guy? It's uh, Kanan, the Baron with Tornado and a Magic Ring. Okay, this could hurt. He's gonna fucking Great Shield all the fucking way too. So we can take two Tornadoes and then we're dead. But, he went down pretty fucking easily. Alright, and after the Tornado Baron... It is Atlas, a Baron with Vulcan on and a Skill Ring. Ugh. Skill Ring means he might actually be able to hit on it. We can take two of those before we're dead. Wow. Well, he went down, and I think the last guy, if I remember correctly, is an Emperor with an Earth Sword. He is a big pain. Hit points and strength. Nice. Alright, let's fight the next opponents. Yeah, Zeus, Emperor with an Earth Sword and a Pursuit Ring, so he can attack multiple times. This guy is really fucking tough to deal with. If he hits you, he heals. Like that. But, he didn't proc any great shields, so, we did the entire gauntlets. So yeah, Radney turned out pretty okay, she's level 26. Maybe I'll just give him her hero sword over to her brother, I don't know. Alright, you guys want to see the ranged arena maybe? We could send Dimna into it, or maybe Asaelo. Asaelo could use the uh, experience, so, let's send Asaelo. Unless we're fighting a flyer, the killer bow is nearly always better. The silver bow has four more might, but the killer has critical and it weighs so much. Um, yeah, he has he is capped on money, sadly. I mean, wait, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. We could give Ocello the... Uh, we could give Ocello the elite ring. Because he's actually pretty... Uh, he is pretty... Uh, yeah, he has six more levels to gain, so why not? Uh, oh no, Leaf has the Elite Ring. Okay. Ba 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 ba. Fucking. No, no, not sell. We want to get the Arita Ringo. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Alright. So now Asala should get a shit ton of experience from this gauntlet right here. If he can get through it. Marilyn. Oh no, we're fighting Marilyn Monroe. She's a sniper with a silver bow. Nah, this shouldn't be any big problem at all. Bang. Also, furthermore, since Asaelo lacks a little bit of skill, 
the killer bow is great for him since it has 100% hit. Hit points and strength. Huh, that's okay. Yes, I would like to fight my next opponent, Jackson. Another sniper with a killer bow. Scary. Come on, crit. Don't crit me. There we go. Dead, dead, dead. And another level up for Asylo. Hit points. <laughs> Yay, substitute level ups. Yeah, I like to fight the next opponent. Mario, a bow knight with a hero bow and a shield ring. Okay, this this one could get pretty tough. Or not. <laughs> oh. Come on, Asylo, hit. There you go, double critical for the win. I still think Zeus is the final boss, though. Alright, come on. Yeah, Baron with Tornado. This could get nasty. Okay, now that didn't look like he dodged that, but okay. <laughs> Schmack. Okay, no great shield now. There you go. Da 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 da. Level 27 SLO, hit points, speed, and luck. Nice. Very nice. Of course, I'd like to fight the next opponent. This is Atlas the Baron with Vulcanon. This could be nasty. It's a 41% chance to hit me, and I can only take two of these things. Yes! Awesome. Awesome. No! Yes! Fucking hell. Critical hits are so effective against uh, barons and generals, too. Because of the way the multiplier works. Hit points, strength, and luck. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, so here comes uh, Zeus, I think. Yeah, and he still has his earth sword, so this could be nasty. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to win this one. Ah, we'll see. He did dodge. He also has a Pursuit Ring, so if he's faster than us, which he is not, luckily. It doesn't look like we're fast. I think we're just as fast as him. Nice one, Asala. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Come on, Asala. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta hit. You gotta fucking hit. You gotta, gotta, gotta get a crit here. No! Come on. Come on. Dodge, 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 dodge. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, how many more of those can we take? Only one. <gasps> Crits! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This could be done. This could be done. Dodge, Ocello. Dodge. Yes, he dodged. Alright, now you just gotta hit. Don't proc great shield. Don't proc great shield. It's a 30% chance. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! That's my fucking boy right there. Whew. That was a tough, uh, tough arena gauntlet. Holy shit. Oh my god. So, I think we can probably sell the Elite Ring, too, to someone else who needs it more. I mean, could send it to, sell it to Johan, maybe. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's we'll see how Johan fares in the gauntlet. Probably not very well. Do, 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 That's so much money, so might as well. Of course, we're going to use the hero axe, dude. Durza the General. I don't think he'll make it past. Oh, fucking hell. You can see he's already struggling against this guy. He's not going to be able to defeat the Swordmasters. Just calling it right now. It's it's not going to happen. I don't think there's even any point in trying. Maybe he'll take the Forest, but not the Swordmaster. This is the, yeah, Forest with the Steel Sword. I, I think I'm majorly fucked right here. Yeah... Ah, uh, well... Ah, uh, maybe. Ah... Uh, ah... Uh, 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 uh. man. Alright. 
I think I'm gonna do the rest of the arena in off screen, guys. And then we need to kill some dark mages, so I'll be right back. Alright, so the arena is done, and we are ready to move the fuck out. Everyone's ready to uh, kick some ass and chew some bubble gum. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna send Femina off to kill some of these long-range mages. Hopefully she can take them down. We'll see. Maybe I should have given her a power ring. Uh, nope. She wasn't able to, unless she... No, she, if she proc to continue, she would have done it by now. Well, that's slightly annoying. Um, but it's uh, it's no biggie. We can easily get past that. Uh, Dimna might be able to help out. Yep, he definitely is. Da -da -da -da. As long as you can take down these four Dark Mages right here, you should be relatively safe. They all got Fenrir, so they're, they're a little bit annoying to deal with, but... Da 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 Maybe, I, actually, maybe I could have used Johan to do that. That was a little bit silly of me. He could have thrown a hand axe and I could have killed another guy with Dimna. Oh well. Anyway, Asaelo should be able to take down this guy. Yep. There you go. It's always so much fun trying to take down these guys on the first turn. I did dance inside the castle with Layla, sadly, so I probably won't be able to do all that much. But Hawk can probably take down this fucker. Hawk and Linda also have a conversation since they're in love. And this conversation gives Hawk's, Hawk tree magic, which is kind of fucking amazing. Don't you smug me. So what, what, what kind of name do you prefer? Do you prefer Jormung or the Yutsmung? I think Yutsmung sounds extremely much more badass than Jormung. Yutsmung is always also closer to the myth mythological name Yutsmungar. But yeah, I think I think Linda has a conversation with Hawk or the other way around. Yeah. Hawk, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, but you need to watch it, Linda. The enemy is a tough one. I know. I'll be safe as long as I'm with you. You're beautiful, Linda. Do you know that? You mean the world to me. Hawk, quit it. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to say it while I had the chance. Hawk, be careful. Well, that gives... Uh, normally tree magic, but he's capped. So, Hawk capped his magic at 30, and he has the uh, magic ring. So, he has 35 magic and the silent staff. I'm pretty sure you all know what this means. If you don't, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Um, let's see. Leaf can't really do anything. Ah, he can. Ra -ba 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 -ba. Dun, dun. This won't do shit. This won't do shit unless I crit. Will I crit with the lightning sword? No. Yes, I will. But I need to crit again. And actually, I need two more crits, and I got another critical. Now I don't need more crits. I got two criticals. <laughs> Freestyle Manx edition. Um. All right, so can I kill more of these guys now? Yes, I or I can try. Do do do. This will not do shit to him. I did a little bit. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. At least I can throw a hand axe at the guy. What's up, dude? Why does he have 1% hits? Just wondering. Can I get the last guy as well? Maybe with Oifi? Oifi has a javelin, so it might be possible. Yeah! Come on, Oifi, you can do this. We probably won't double him since the javelin is heavy as fuck. But we got a crit, so it's all fine. So we actually eliminated most of the dark mages. There's only one guy left now. And he has what? He has the Fenrir. Ah, that's not gonna be dangerous. Um, well, I'm gonna put Daisy in the forests, because I don't really trust her. Do we have any other conversations? 
no, not yet. But I know I have a lot of conversations too, because I I have been very good at pairing people up on this playthrough. All right, so let's see who's injured. Hawk's injured. Let's heal up Hawk then. Charlo has a fucking arsenal of staffs at his disposal. La Maybe Finn can do something here? No, he can't. Da, 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 da. What I can do is I can use Charlo to rescue Layla over to the over to my position. The rescue staff is really good at, at picking up people who uh, who have been left behind. Also, Rollerball managed to get pretty far into the arena and got to number seven, so that's good. Da, 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 da. We are not using Shannon or Alice. We are not using people with holy blood. Okay, that's a lie, because we're using Sleaze. But he's the main character, so it's kind of have no choice. Da, 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 da. Oh shit, they're closer than I thought. In fact, that Mage Knight might attack me. Da, 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 bum, 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 dun, 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 No. <laughs> no. And there's this guy who is gonna offend me, I guess. Yeah. Femina needs to deal with. Oh my god, 99%. Oh no, that's Johan. I was like, well, that's Femina. Why does he have so much head? And I was like, this Johan, he doesn't have any avoidance to speak of whatsoever. Duh. Wing. Gotta love the life ring. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we will take on Robert and his merry men in the next part. Hope you guys are looking forward to it. I certainly am. It's gonna be fun. Please consider leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed this part. And as always, my name has been Magnus, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!